And I think that's what really separates the goats from the regular people in all honesty, like sports and otherwise. Why you practice the way you practice yeah. and understanding that this is your job every single day in and out, I think that's how you reach the zone. And I- you could say Jamal Murray went into the zone. What game that was? Remember when he remember when he had that fourth quarter? I think yeah, it was against that was the like, Lakers. I feel two? like he's a zone player in general. No, but I'm saying it's just certain moments where he just catch fire and certain moments when he just yeah. hot. I don't know. <laughs> just because y'all don't use algebra in every, I use algebra every day. Don't give these marks. You just like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> one time I had to use soccer door. I was like, wait. No, I lie. I ain't use soccer door. Oh, oh, I, 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 I do. I use probably uh, Pythagoras though. <laughs> yeah. Ain't you know soccer door ain't never serious. Stop teaching this. Stop teaching this. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Fanatic Island. This is your home for sports and sports entertainment. And it's Saturday. We have another good topic for you guys. How you guys been? Been pretty good. Can't complain. Been listening to the number one hit in Nassau for the past couple of weeks. So. Yeah. He's not sponsoring the show. Do not. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear no lyric. I don't want to hear not a lyric. I don't want to hear not a lyric. I mean, I feel like they already know, but it is what it is. They know what it is. It's independent season. You know, he didn't win the competition, but he, his song is very hype. I mean, very well, hype. obviously he didn't win. It's yeah. just, just to quote the man. Yeah. But um, today, mm-hmm. you want to introduce the topic? Yeah, I could. Today we have for you, The Zone. Now, how do we talk about the zone? Most of us feel like the zone is something where a great athlete. Not zone defense. Yeah, not zone defense. Not at all. A great athlete takes his game, his or her game, to another level. But for most of you, you might you may think that, but it's not reserved just for great athletes. Any athlete can do it. Any person can do it. Entering the zone, we will share with you the definition. We will tell you how to get there. And also, that's about it, actually. Yeah, because I was I'm glad you said definition. Because I was about to ask you, like, what's the difference between the zone, like being in the zone mm-hmm. and just being a clutch player? You could be, I feel like you could be Mo- in the zone. I and think you clutch. I don't, you could be in the zone and end up clutch, but you could be clutch and not in the zone. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the zone is a different That's state. Like Tony Romo. <laughs> I feel like the zone is a different state of being, to be honest with you. It's like transcend, it's like transcending just your normal body and mind. It's almost like, I don't know if y'all ever read The Alchemist. Yeah, it's a good book. It's a yeah. really good book. Paulo Coelho. So basically what it's saying is when you have like a dream or something, you pretty much connect with all of the universe to achieve that certain goal. So I feel like with talent and interest and hard work, those combination of things, you could achieve the zone. But with the talent conversation, is mm-hmm. is it more so can the dream drive the talent? Because you may not necessarily have the talent to be in the zone. Because again, mm-hmm. this this wouldn't be kind of just solely for athletes. Yeah. Like you wouldn't necessarily have the innate talent to do something initially. But does the drive from the dream kind of inspire you to get there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like it does. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, if you guys ever watched Kuroko no Basketball. Yeah. Um, they had a they had a good depiction of the zone. In the episodes where you know for a certain point in time, ta- certain point in time, the players were like unguardable, unstoppable, and it's mm. just like their muscle, their nerves were like so to a higher level is like nothing they could have done in that zone um, for the stop. And you know it is a time limit. You can't you can't stay in the zone all game. It's it's, yeah. it's physically impossible. Yeah. Right, and you enter it by certain criteria. You you know game situation. You're trying to get you're trying to get to a certain point and you're trying to help your team succeed whether you know down or you up and you staying up mm. and it just going there i feel like it's a good depiction of that i so, agree i agree so it, does it kind of i don't want to say mesh but is it the same thing as like the fight or flight response because I, I think you you you've seen or you've heard people talk about 
this the instance where I think the mother would have lifted a car off of a child. Mm-hmm. Like that. Uh, no, I feel like that would. That's more of the clutch kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah, that's more clutch. So think of it like, um, give me a sport. Name a sport. Football. All right, football. <laughs> he said it's so, football. So think of it for an offensive lineman that no matter what the defense tries to do, um, the, he's going to stop him, right? Pass protection, run, run, run blocking. No matter what they do, no matter what they try and switch up, he's yeah. so locked in that he, you know, he they they try to they're trying to plan around him, but they can't do it. Mm-hmm. A receiver, like you know, they have the best um, um, defender on him, Revis versus Randy, right? And Randy, no matter what you do, Revis is, you know, probably was the top cornerback then. Yeah. No matter what, like, when they go in that game, Randy go to that second level. It. It's just it. It's like, no matter what Revis did, he couldn't overcome Randy. Yeah. Right? And no matter, like, like what for, like, um, quarterbacks, the, we've seen quarterbacks make miraculous plays. We've seen quarterbacks make remarkable plays. It's just that no matter what the defense threw at them. There's nothing you could do. Like, they ain't getting sack. Yeah. Oh, no, the, the cornerback is over the receiver, and they still getting the play out. It's just yeah. those moments. Yeah, I feel like it's more instinctual than actual adrenaline yeah. going through you. So it's more like you're not even thinking about it. You just do it. And like I say, with transcending your own self, it's pretty much like, okay, you won with the universe, so this is going to happen no matter what. So... It's just effortless, but I feel like you you have to do the work to get there, obviously. So, like, that's kind of the separator from, like, Gadero said, there's a time limit for being in the zone. And I think to Gadero's point, too, like, you, I think that certain conditions have to be there. I don't think it, some people might have a switch where they could just turn it on. Like, I, I feel like that's for the greats, I guess. Yeah, like, the greats could just turn it on. But I think for other people, it, it may be more situational than anything else. It is. It like, is. Like, Jamal Murray, I, you could say, you could say Jamal Murray went into the zone. What game that was? Remember when he remember when he had that fourth quarter? I think yeah, it was against that was the like Lakers. Game I feel two? like he's a zone player in general. No, but I'm saying it's just certain moments where he just catch fire and certain moments when he just yeah. hot. And that's, that's pretty much the basic definition of what we're talking about and what we're referring to in, in regards to the zone. Yeah, and I think that's his game in all honesty. Like, because you'd see Murray, Murray be playing, like, and it's like, okay, oh, they're they doing a pretty good job on Murray. Mm-hmm. But you know, at any point in time, like, he'd randomly, and I don't think he controls it. It just happens, and he'd pop ball for, like, 20 and a quarter. And he'd be like, oh, yeah. key check. And he's like, no matter what they do. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, we see, like, we see in Steph, Steph would go there, and it's like, just no matter what he does, he could throw it up. He could be <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> Yeah, and then he just, you know, he just in his own. Like, you know it. Like, you ain't recognizing it, but it's like, you just in his own. When you're looking back at it, you'd be like, boy, this this nigga was on one. I always go back to this game. This is this is a beautiful game. If you haven't watched the game, please go and watch it. Mm-hmm. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Denver Broncos. I think was when Peyton Manning Peyton had Peyton versus Romo. They Peyton, just had that on. That Peyton versus Romo game. Romo, that was the most zoned I have ever seen Romo, and which is why I asked you if the zone Actually in the shocking clutch. Actually shocking that you said that. No, for, for, for No, that was a beautiful <laughs> game. And, I, and that's why I asked you the difference between the zone and the clutch. Because mm-hmm. we lost that game due to an interception. Honestly, I think the I think it was Witten. Witten might have run the wrong route. So okay. there's a miscommunication with the interception that lost us the game. But if you go back and watch that, you would honestly think that Tony Romo was a top five quarterback. Honestly to God. That game was beautiful. That is the definition of zone. That and insanity. <laughs> I not, mean, it could lead to that. But not <laughs> insanity. Linsanity was in a uh, I certain was games. Of being in the zone. Certain games. It was like, a week. That man was. Certain games. That he had to been the zone. He was man. hot. It definitely was the zone. <laughs> I feel like. No, that is for you to be. I feel like that's what I feel. I feel like great players could turn on any time, but with like players underneath that, they can reach a point in their life when it's like, okay, this is your moment. Like we have Jeremy Lin, we have Eli against Tom at any point in the any Super Bowl. point in Tom career. Oh, if you have to go against you, <laughs> so like, yeah, that's up. Even Peyton Ellis, that one year. When you and Kadeem had more fantasy, and I'm like, wait, why is this way killing right now? Doug Martin. Yeah. Jeepers Creepers fantasy football. <laughs> but, like, with those instances, like, you do have coaches who can pull it out. So, like, when they when a player's, and um, to credit it, right, being in the zone is different from, you know, a player having a good game. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. right? A player can have a good game while he's in the zone, but just because a player is having a good game doesn't mean he's in the zone. If that makes sense, it right? does. Yeah, and I think that that actually kind of translates more into like the regular, like everyday aspect. Because you could be at work, like if you have, let's just say, a client facing role, so you're always answering calls or meeting with clients. Like you could have a good day at work, and it just feels a bit, you know, it just feels okay. But if you're in a zone at work, even if it's a bad day and like you're just getting through your clients and like you yeah. go and go and go on, like I think that's that's to your point. Like that's the definition of being in the zone. To so be in meetings all day and sometimes you feel it like it drags. Yeah. But then when you in the meeting, you popping and you hitting all your licks like yeah. that. That's one of the best feelings. Like, I need a zone. You say what? They need his own day at work. You <laughs> <laughs> struggling, so man. Tired. Wow. Baseball is a little harder as a batter. I feel like to get in the zone. Um, yes, you could be locked in. You have hot. You have heat. Hot streaks. Um, I feel like it's easier for a pitcher. Like when a pitcher, yeah. when a pitcher on it, he on it. When he just zoned in, like the Grom, when he on his masterpieces, these ace pitchers, when they on their masterpieces, just like you know, it's just like you looking at them. It's like you don't physically see the aura, but you know they have that aura around them just yeah. building up. And, you know, they're going out there, they're doing their thing. I think it could be pretty balanced, though, when it comes to it. I mean, like a hidden, just cause it, because it's so, because it's it's so different. Yeah, because it's so different. All right, you hit, boom, you come down. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah. Like, it's not like they're hidden um, consecutively. I agree. And consistently. Like, yeah, you can have it over time, but if you bat in four times, you're not going to be in the zone for the four um, for those four at bats, that's why I said it's easier for a pitcher because the pitcher has regular repetition of the reps and whatnot, as opposed to a batter. Like a batter, a batter could get hard. A batter could be in this. I mean, I guess that's their version of this. Yeah. If you want to say it like, like that. if they seen a meatball yeah. come down like every time, yeah. like you they can miss. miss. Yeah. I think, but that's time though. Like all of this time, because I feel the less some people like, if you don't get a chance to use it. So if you're in the zone, like the, going back to the bad example, like if you mm. don't get a chance to use it, you could lose the zone. And they do the same thing in football as well. Like if you have a quarterback that's hot or in mm. the zone, what what does the opposing offense always do? Run the ball, kill the clock, and keep them off the field. And sometimes like, yeah. it knocks them out. You know what I mean? Like I think that's a time element. And I think that's where you get into the conversation of the greats versus the regular people. Yeah. Is that if the greats are in the zone, they're able to kind of capture that magic and hold it just a little bit longer regardless whereas like someone who isn't as experienced or they aren't necessarily on like superstar level yeah because if Mahomes only get five seconds it's still over but <laughs> so it don't matter but it's still over you mean like the bills when you had 12 seconds yeah, and they run like 17 bro. plays i don't care i don't disgust. care what you try to do yeah. you better zero the clock or you lost you no know, like i say those <laughs> in those instances you you take the time you don't give them no time on the clock you just yeah you don't give them no time on the clock yeah, they tried their best, I guess, but I mean they did it in the Super Bowl. Yeah. But I mean, I guess they go even deeper in the zone. There's this tweet that Katie made that I have the dog bowl. You know what he said? He said, This feels like a spiritual experience. I get I understand that. Yeah, it's more like like I was saying earlier, it's more than just physical and mental. You really just it's almost something where it's like, yeah, you won with everything. So it's like, I don't want to say it is a spiritual experience, but it is in a way. Yeah, you feel like you could do no wrong. Yeah, like you feel like, okay. It's an out of body experience. Yeah, I, guess I feel like God is telling me to make this happen. <laughs> My will and his will align. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, it feels like that's happening and then. It's almost infectious in a way. Like, even for the people watching the game, it's like, wait, why do you feel so good right now? To be fair, though, because you have seen moments where, like, like, like versus the the good games versus, like, in, in someone in the zone, mm. where you see people in the stands or who would have been spectated or on the bench always, like, they always kind of are the ones to be like, bro, like, you were in the zone. Like, sometimes the person in the zone itself kind of, like... Yeah, Auto body experience. Yeah. Yeah. They space out like they don't notice it, and everyone else is like, "Bro, like you, you were just, you were just on it." Yeah, and it's like that. And I can say it's like that in work too, especially on a hot day. Like if you got like y'all work to do, like you kind of just zone out and just get it done. <laughs> yeah, and there's a difference between zoning out and being in the actual zone. Just, exactly. just wanted to point that out. And it's also infectious. Like if you are teammates or coworkers or whatever, they go want to elevate their game because they say, "Okay, this play, this play on another level right now." <laughs> if, if they got sense, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, 
that's also a good thing. But I feel like there's also negative things that can hang up from the zone. I'd say is, you know, I feel like as human beings, we are, we just naturally addicted to certain things. I mean, yeah, everything. Well. There's something that you have to be addicted to. Okay. So you become addicted to probably get in the zone. You're like, okay, I had this experience. Yeah. yeah. So I don't never Not want much. to leave me. These people on the wall we looking at. I'm pretty sure they're addicted to that. <laughs> so it's like. It's, it becomes chasing the high. Yeah. So it's like almost like. I sacrifice my body, my mental, family time, whatever. I find with that because I, I'm getting to this level of greatness. I am making everybody around me better. What's the issue with? I guess I have to make that sacrifice. That's all. That's actually kind of that's actually kind of profound. Like, like chasing the zone, chasing the hype. Because I mean, you know, to be to be somewhere, the one something as routine as your every day but you're just doing it to such a high level that everyone's now praising you, you kind of fall into that perfectionist exactly. mindset it's like okay you gotta keep i was it. yeah i was able to do this like i need to do this again and again and again and then to your point like you just start neglecting yourself and everything on the other side that's it's a bit dodgy bro i did not expect it at all it's not life dodgy <laughs> But you wouldn't think. Yeah, I, I didn't think. About I guess that from a spiritual all. experience, you don't feel like that's something that you would want to do. You don't feel like God is like, okay, I don't want you to be average. So go for the great. Make everybody around you great. That way, then we make the world better in a way. See, it's all about balance at that point. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I agree. I agree. Sports, sports is is everything in life. You have to find balance. Mm -hmm. So you could be chasing it, but like you said, chase while you're chasing it you're probably losing yeah something on the other side so it's it's like the scales mm -hmm. right the more you go the more you lean on one side the more the other side tips up or the more the um the more you lose sight of what it is yeah so it's kind of it's kind of rough on that on that aspect like, yes you are told to like go go get it you felt the experience of it you're told to go get it you know what needs to be done yeah and i feel like that's the trade-off so it's like you know what you need to do like it's the sacrifice are you willing to make that sacrifice or are you willing to like compromise and adapt mm -hmm. to do it like you said like i feel like you could balance everything it's kind of hard it's very hard it's kind of hard that's extremely hard i'm saying, I'm saying, that's extremely I'm saying hard. it's kind of okay, hard Atlas. <laughs> but it's just it's the time thing so like you have to, there's ways around, there's ways around you doing certain stuff. Like, you know, everyday life, right? We go to work, we go to the gym, we have our off time, we, mm -hmm. we do um, this. So we try to fit everything in our schedule. We know it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard, but like once, you know, we get in that groove and we know we do it on a, we do it on a consistent basis, it gets easier. So I feel like that's um, what needs to happen. Like in order to like chase that zone, you have to be able to find a way to mesh your, um, your life and trying to advance your career, mm -hmm. advance your um, sports, advance your family life, advance your spiritual life, and you know spiritual life above everything. But you're just trying to find a way to balance all of that while still chasing that perfection, while still chasing that rush yeah. that you need to get back there because a lot of people are dependent on you in different ways. I feel like you need a good team around you who understands that as well, though. Yeah, I feel like to be to be in the zone and yeah. to chase it as consistently as we're now. I mean, trying to integrate into your everyday life, you do you do need the support system, and you can even look at it based on um what's research is now coming out now in terms of like weightlifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding. Um, if you really want to see gains in certain muscle groups, like it's almost recommended now. Like say, if you want to improve your bench numbers, to Add a little bit of extra sets in your bench. So if this is say if you want like a regular push pull leg splits, um, take away some of the leg exercises you do. Focus more on your chest for that specific period of time to get that there. So get that zone sorted and then switch and get another zone sorted. And people look at it that way. It's like, well, you focus in on one thing at a time. That's not necessarily balancing, but I think that's 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 kind of long run. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. long run, that's how it works. I think you have to periodize it, but. The support system is is wholeheartedly important, man. Like, can't yep. stress that enough. I agree. I agree. I, I don't feel like we're supposed to be. You know, we we are like beings who supposed to focus on one single thing. Like people who say they can do multiple things at a time. I'm like, 
can you or are you just doing things one at a time just very quickly Apparently, multitasking is, is it doesn't exist. Yeah, it's, it's a fallacy. <laughs> There's no such thing as multitasking. Stop lying to me. There's no such thing as multitasking. I multitask every single yeah. day. Yeah, man, you just choose the focus. You stop you, it. Yeah, you stop it. You do something else. Yeah. Uh, no, I got I got two hands. Like one hand could be typing, one hand could be writing. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, but I understand that you have to, in order to do it. Like you, you focus on three things at one time, but like you are just mm. take you're doing chunks of it. That way, you just keeps task switching, like you said. Just yeah, multitasking. We say multitasking, but it's just trying to we, we're finishing those three things, and you know, the same I guess the same amount of time if we were to just do one, one, one. But you focus more. You focus more when you switch when you switch tasks like that. Yeah, I feel like Bruce Lee had a good example of this. Like when it comes to being in the zone, he said, "Flow like water, basically." Mm. So you just again one with everything, Beautiful. and then. To make it more fun, let's see y'all got your anime shirts on. Whoever don't watch anime, get it in your life. Like, y'all missing out? Because they talk about getting in the zone all the time. You talk about Kuroko basketball. Guy Sensei bad. But <laughs> he based on he, Bruce Lee. To be fair. I mean, because even, and then too, like, when looking at like the downsides of the zone. Um, exactly. High Q. Hinata was in the zone for one of the tournaments. Mm. But he actually had the flu. So it was to the point where he was in the zone for so long. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as his body had a chance to rest, dude collapsed. Yep. Because he was pushing, pushing, yeah, pushing. Yeah, he pushed his body to the limit. Yeah. And that's, and I think that's another careful thing we have to look at, too. Like, if you chase his own or you're in the zone for too long and to the you know point of the support system, like, if you're not really mindful of it, it really can push you. Burn yourself out. Yeah, you could you die. Can really, and people do it all the time at work, like all the time. Uh, Christmas season, like depending on what job you're in, like if you're in like customer service or like, retail or something like that, and like you're in the zone, I'm good. You, you busting all, <laughs> you're making all this OT, like you serving all your customers, you rigging in the commission, yeah. And then as soon as you actually stop, it's just like, poof. yep, you done. Because like your you, body is like, okay, yeah, that is you probably didn't feel that at the time, <laughs> but I am ready to die. <laughs> Yeah, like as much as you want the zone to be there as often as possible, I, I, I think it's a zone for the re for a reason. Like yeah. that's, that's not supposed to be a regular state. Guy, like you go, you go. I think you go crazy if you win it. You can't for a prolong. You know, it's to be in the zone for a whole game. Yeah, like it's possible, but like, bro, you go crazy. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> no, but like you go crazy because it's like, all right, you can't do no wrong. So because you can't do no wrong, you have no fear of um, failing. So because you have no fear of failing, that's in itself is a, is a detriment. I don't even know if you're a fear of anything. No, but I'm saying that's a, so you could think you could feel like you're in the zone, but you may not be in the zone. What do you mean? So like, let's say you, um, let's say a um, player entered the zone, mm -hmm. right? He entered the zone early. So you just keep feeding him the ball. Bas this basketball, oh, basketball you mean example. Like you burn, you stop yeah. missing. You boom. Feed him, feed him. He he going right. Yeah. He start missing. He missed once. All right. He's like, okay, no, that is, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, you know, man, man, he's, man. He's still there. I mean, you ain't supposed to miss, but yeah, okay. <laughs> he's still there. Okay. He pass him again. Just you know, good defense. You know, he's starting to come out of the zone. Yeah. But like, he, because he's starting to come out of the zone, he's starting to flicker in between being in the zone and not in the zone. So like, you still feeding him, mm -hmm. and at this point, you realize that now the other team has the momentum because now because you only force feeding that one player because he was in the quote unquote he was hot, zone, yeah. he hot, he in his zone, like you ain't focused on no one else. So because no one else in that groove, now everyone else just have to now try and fly and try and catch up. So like it's false. It's, it's, it's some false zones too. Like, yeah. and like false um, feelings on like whether or not you're still there, whether or not you're, you're, you're losing it or whatnot. I agree. Um, but so how do we relate that to when people probably just have flashes, they don't realize they're in the zone. How do we express to them that, hey, you can get to the zone without being some great person on TV or some great person where and they don't feel like regular they, person. Yeah. They don't feel like they're able to achieve so that level of greatness. So like I said, everything is hindsight. So last year's championship game when we played in championship game, mm -hmm. right? People told me I was all over the field, right? Just and I just go run, run to the left. I I pull on the flag to the left. Run to the right. Pull on the flag to the right. Super Omni. Pass, <laughs> pa like just pass protection. Um, pass coverage. I there. It's just like I was all over the field as a as a player. And me thinking like me thinking about it now is like I just feel felt like I was doing my job. Yeah. Right. So. 
um, I'm not going to say that's the zone. And, like, you know, I had the commissioner say, it's like, you know, he's like, oh, well, you missed that one flag. No, you could have had the MVP, but you missed that one flag. And I was like, I mean, I at this point, I don't care. We win. Mm. But it's just, um, and that's also the, that's like I said, that's also the game where I felt my Achilles kick. Mm. Right? So I felt like I could have been in the zone and that um, took me out of it. So after a while, he was doing too much. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> yeah. So it was it was it was a it was a big it was a strain on my body. So yeah. after a while, it's just like your body was like you know, boom. Like yeah, chill out. So after that, it was just like trying to figure out a way to get back there to hold on to like doing what I needed to do mm-hmm. to win the game. So it's po- like I said, it's possible. Like you don't realize it. You just have to think about moments where it is. You're not gonna be in the zone and be like. Okay, well, I ain't the zone. You just can be afterwards. You can be like, I, I was there. You know, that's that's how I feel like it is. So how do we break that down into like the simplest terms for people outside of sports? You gotta live in the moment. That's 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 pretty much what it is, and, wow. and not like not as an active observer either. Like you have to be so, like you said at the beginning, like you have to be so ingrained and engrossed in what you're doing at that point in time that nothing else matter, matters like to Kadero's point like everyone was saying he was all over the field which he was um but to him he was just doing his job like he was yeah. just so in tune or focused on just doing what my job is and understanding and that's the next thing too for a lot of people and I'd, I'd assume the average person as well like mm. for the most part I think the hardest part for them to get in the zone in their everyday life is understanding what it is that they're supposed to be doing in the first place. So, like, if you fully understand <laughs> exactly. what your job is and you could get engrossed in it to the point where, like, nothing else matters, in that moment you could achieve it, but you, you have to understand what it is. And some people just don't care enough to do it. That's the point when I want to make too. I'm like, you know how they say, I work, be, be styling. Be styling. I'm like, doesn't work out, yeah. I'm like, mm, <laughs> I don't think that's true, to be honest. I feel like you get a hop hard work that's displaced. Yeah. Like you doing hard work for nothing? Off air. <laughs> so oh, it's like, my I'm like, I don't think we should take that literally at all times. I feel like you should do, put it in a way where it's like hard work combined with talent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, find out what you good at. You have hobbies, you have work, you have certain things that you know you are great at. Like, you, even if you at work, you, there isn't everything that you're going to be great at at work. There's some things that you're going to be, be excellent yeah. at. Some things you want to be not so good at. So, like, capitalize on the excellent things. Ox for help with the other things, whatever. And it's like, go from there. And then you could figure out where your zone is. Capitalize on that. I'm pretty sure money is a thing that y'all want to talk about, too. You're like, oh, my my talent, my gifts don't make me no money. So why the hell I get interact with that? So I guess put money in the equation, too. And then go from there. The Lord in the good book says that your gifts will make way for you. There is always a way to put your talents to get used. Exactly. But I think to to your point and like just going back to the everyday thing, you have to find a way to understand what it is that you're doing. I don't think you could ever. And I think that's what really separates the goats from the regular people in all honesty, like sports and otherwise. Like understanding what it is that your job is and why you practice, how you practice, why you practice the way you practice. Yeah. And understanding that this is your job every single day in and out i think that's how you reach the zone and i think that's where a lot of us as regular people kind of go wrong because we go through the motion so much so you're there in the moment but the moment is emotion versus the moment being everything that you would have been working for like the entirety so i think that's i think that's the difference like yeah. understanding what your talent is understanding why you're doing it and going from there I think that's I think that's the key to being in the zone. I agree. I mean, do you have an example of you being in the zone? Could everybody give his? Probably singing. In all honesty, oh, like yeah. having a concert because be, I have nerves. I have nerves all the time. Mm-hmm. So don't mind me singing and being on stage and doing all kind of foolishness. Like I would stand up and sing in church and my leg looking poking in the background, like, <laughs> shaking, just shaking, shaking, shaking. But like you, I'd have a performance where. I don't necessarily remember what I did on stage. I don't know how good it was. My voice is in this particular spot, and I know the notes coming out, and I just flow in, like the voice, like Blue Street saying, the like voice water. just feels like water, and you just going, going, going. After the concert, it's like, what a sec. 
Everybody's like, but you want so much energy, dog? It's like, it's like, like never, but. I, I, and I did then. I was like, man, you get no energy, man. I don't know what the hell you talking about. But like situations like that, and it's because you would have, pra- again, going back to music, because we would have been practicing so long, and I understood like whatever, every single beat that needed to be hit in the song, the dance, et cetera, et cetera. Like I knew what was coming. I knew what I had to do. Yeah. And I, like Kadero point, like it was, it was a job. I knew what needed to be executed, and it happened. It don't happen all the time, but it happened then. It happened. Let me see. I got one example. I got a simpler one from y'all. Cause y'all doing big dying things. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this time in college. I had this rough engineering teacher where this way he was in playing. If he was off by a decimal point, if you had a definition that didn't have the same exact words that the definition he give you, <laughs> you ain't getting no points. <laughs> it was cool though. It was a, I don't know why, but it was just like a weird challenge to me. But so it was like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, okay, this exam at 10 o'clock tomorrow. I study a lick. <laughs> oh, I study a lick, wait. So, you know, you got to go into that student zone now. Uh, you got to go into that student zone. I was thinking about that just now, too. I popped the can. The can with the. With the with the claw with the claw marks on it, I ain't got no names. If you want to taste that sauce, spokesperson, we had oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways. Put my music on. I just gone into the trance play. I was like, wait, this ain't making no sense. This ain't making I go on over it like 20 times. I was like, this ain't making no sense. This is making no sense. Then it was like something just click. And it was like, okay. I got it now. And it just started flowing. Doing all the questions, everything. I ain't even tired. It's like 4 a.m. now. <laughs> it's like 4 a.m. I was like, okay, we begin. We begin like four hours of sleep. We go wake up, get breakfast, all that stuff, go to the exam. I must see flick it. I, ain't even, I don't even remember even writing that. I was just, I just look at the questions. I was like, 95. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, I was like, wait, what? We are not purporting that you cram. How the hell did you study at time before you're 95? I don't know, wait. I don't know, wait. It just happened, wait. It just happened. Wait, once you got the formulas and the formulas. <laughs> <laughs> and those, the formula makes sense. Yeah. Once you plug it in, you everything in your plug, brain. If like, you plug it in right, you can never be wrong. Y'all engineers. It is a lock something, but I don't get it. I was like, oh, okay. I understand the meaning of life now. Because <laughs> these equations serious, gay. It's like, you know how like geniuses when they have like math equations yeah. and they get incorporated to life and say, okay, with this equation, this means this. Yeah, I can apply this to almost anything. That's how it was. It's so it's strange. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Bro. I don't know. Wait, <laughs> just because y'all don't use algebra in every, I use algebra every day to work. I just use algebra. Don't give these math teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one time I had to use soccer door. I was like, wait. Why? No, I lie. I didn't use soccer door. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the sick? <laughs> I'd, I'd use uh, Pythagoreans, though. <laughs> yeah. Ain't, you know, soccer door ain't never serious. Stop teaching this. <laughs> <laughs> I use Pythagoras, though. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Get that? Yeah. yeah that was work. But no, I think I, I actually can relate to the students on. I used to yeah. get my problems, though. Just like writing essays. I just was about, I used to get in trouble for it. So, you know, like sometimes the exams have like, oh, wow, and yeah. the time limits, right? Because, you know, you got essay questions in the back and the teachers, for whatever reason, teachers all didn't stop doing this with the children say they finish, let them leave. <laughs> just give them anxiety. So you're answering the questions the teacher expecting the exam last hour and 30 minutes and you just look at the questions, going, 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 mm-hmm. going, going. 45 minutes in, pen on the paper, I done. You ain't finished my exam. What you mean I ain't finished your exam? I don't know what else you want from me. <laughs> I don't answer all the questions. Yeah. Like you said, I give you so much anxiety. Because then like, you just be going back and changing like, your answers. I was like, that's wrong, wait. This gotta be wrong. This gotta be wrong. This gotta be wrong. So like, you were in the zone for the exam and like the teacher just yucked you yeah. out. So now you second guessing your entire experience. That happened to me before, but I guarantee you my biochem exam. Biochem exam for COB, one of the most Chem 336. For anybody who went to COB and is a biochem major, Chem 336 exam for that stressful mind that everybody know what you're talking about. <laughs> Answering the essay questions, right? I answer all my essay questions like, you know, where you finish my exam in X amount of time. I say, fine. I go on over my paper. I scratch out one of my essay questions. Yeah. I get come out with a B on a man exam. You know the man don't like give you nothing over no B minus. I get a B. I guarantee you if I had left that question in that I had initially answered first, it's coming over to A. 
I guarantee you, because I went, I, I went back in my notes and looked at it. Use a dummy. I dummy. If he had just let me leave, I'd have been straight. That's when I finish multiple choice, I don't look at it, but it's like no, but I don't multiple choice. I don't <laughs> multiple choice. Wait, if I wrong, I wrong. Yeah, yeah. it was to the point where I answered an additional essay question, but. <laughs> You, you, you just bought it. <laughs> Wait, no, I finished 15 minutes earlier than that. He's like, you can't leave my exam. Take a, I just go take a nap. Bro, I sleep? I don't believe in sleep. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know that you don't hype up for the exam. I just mean, me them, wait, them, college, them college exams, as soon as you finish, you can walk. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. It's like, no, but you, you know where you finish. I write this exam myself. Ain't no way you finish in my exam. You embarrass your boy. Minutes. Yeah, but Stay you should have you should have write him a you should have write him a letter in the box. Like, <laughs> say, you, you know where you write this exam in an hour and yeah. 50, for an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah, exam <laughs> jokey, bro. It's not as good, but I used and then SATs and I remember BGCSE for the Bahamas or definitely BGCSE. I said, oh, if you're doing history paper, you need to write at least six pages of this, that, and three pages, and then go and sleep. See, the but, thing about history is so easy, but it's just a story. <laughs> I wrote three pages, and they're telling me, Prince, there's no way you're gonna get an A if it's all you're writing. It's like possible my information on the paper. I God. Guess. <laughs> question is answered <laughs> what y'all want for me babe? answer your question understand your question go on his own and go sleep <laughs> <laughs> so i guess you know that's a simple way to put it anyone can enter the zone guys it's anyone. not just for the greats apparently cramming is the key <laughs> I don't know why it always works, man. Like, Wait, that's what I it, don't know why it always it works. It comes out when you cry, though. I don't get it. I feel like it comes. That's out when the you situation cram. point, though. I think you want a choice. Situation. Yeah, because you want a choice at that point. Wait, it gives you it's, better it's, understanding. It's no, fail? no, don't do that. Is that a fail? <laughs> it's fail. I get better understanding. I don't know. <laughs> you just like pressure. Because like, wait, I was like, I had a whole semester to study this. Well, no, let me do this the day before. <laughs> yeah, we are writing. Keep research. everything fresh. Just writing research papers the day of. <laughs> no, you, that's wild. At yeah. least two days. It's, no man. At least you, two days. No man. Right? See, you write the paper the day of. You get the sources the day before. Mm. You wild. <laughs> <laughs> the day before. Wow. Yeah. So you spend a whole day getting like twenty something sources, and the next day you just type. Mm. That's serious. Okay. That's serious. <laughs> Prince is crazy. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Now I know. And <laughs> now you now y'all know as well. Y'all y'all know as well. Find out what you're talented in. Work out in it. Get in the zone. Produce greatness. All and, that then, and then keep chasing it. Is that is, keep chasing that's it. the formula. That's all. Just keep chasing it. Understand understand what it is and just go head down, blinders on. And think more of yourself. Come on. Be selfish. It's okay. Yeah, some of y'all naturally selfish. Yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, just be a good person and do greatness. That's all I can say. I know what y'all. That's it. All right. <laughs> I mean, it, it, That's it, all I can else. say. It really ain't nothing else to say. <laughs> Come on. Wow. I really have been in the zone. I never thought. I know. I never thought. I can say, you don't think, you don't notice it when you, when you're, when you're there, you notice it afterwards. Yeah, you notice it afterwards. Because you imagine if someone knows that, that, that they're in the zone, that might happen to me when I was playing bronchitis, playing flavor, playing fly football with bronchitis. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, how are you playing bronchitis, bro? <laughs> what? But anyways, like and subscribe if you like our guidance and help that we got for you to get in the zone. Comment your examples of you being in the zone. And we'll see you next time. Unless you're my item else, I don't know. No man, watch One Piece, eh? This ain't no brain promotion. This you just One Piece is great. Don't watch it, read it. Get in your ultra instinct mode, you know? Just watch anime. Be fair, it's Super Saiyan is a zone too. That's what you're saying. Super Saiyan is a zone. Not no more. It started as a zone. It's an activatable zone. It's not. Guy real. Sensei only say one word when he go on the fight Madara, bro. All he says is flow. That's all he said. He almost killed himself, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is a life without meaning, man? At least it give you life meaning. See, is it, he talking about life without meaning. If you guys want to hear any more inspirational quotes or anything deep, you can check out our episode with Lashanti Jump, um, Lashanti the Siren. Yeah. There's pretty, some pretty deep quotes on that as well. So check out our other videos as well. That was poetic, though. Y'all had a lot of, you know. I feel like she was in the zone when she saw the shark. 
Probably. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> no. I oh, yeah. You probably, yeah. No, she, probably she, was was a, a, she was probably terrified. She, she was, was on, though. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I was on out. Out. She was yeah. on out. She was on yeah. out. I was in the zone. She was just on out. But until next time, y'all be safe. And like you said, check check out the content. You made it this far. Might as well watch another video. Yeah, might as well. Might as well watch another video. And if you don't, we will find you. And I'll watch the video. That's all. We got to do something else. <laughs>